guys, it's Pink Paper Blossom here. I hope you're all doing great. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching this video. Today I am going to be sharing with you some project shares and some few bits and bobs that I am sending Zara. I'll have all of our details linked down below. Um, she's at Mrs. S. Snail Mail on Instagram. Anyway, like I said, I will have all of our details linked down below. We agreed to a swap months ago i mean months and months ago this was meant to be shipped out a couple of months ago but i'm extremely busy in the summer and i just i couldn't finish it in time so i've made it coincide with a halloween group swap that i'm all also shipping to her she's hosting the kind of like european um uh, like side of the swap anyway long story short i'm shipping this out very very soon hopefully packaging it up tonight and sending it off tomorrow and you might have the video on my channel where i show the stuff that i made for the halloween group swap i think i'll upload it before this video if i have uploaded it already i will have the link to that also down below in the description box anyway i'm just going to show you a few of the bits and bobs that i've made for her so i'll just start with this one here um this is a little clipboard mail that i've made for her it says build a bow. There's this big chunky um, bulldog clip. Let me just take this off and I'll show you. I stitched it through the middle as well. So I would have shaker bits, you know, on. Just, I think that'll be, it's a bit better. Okay. Um, so it would hold kind of like the sequin mix both at the top and at the bottom and it wouldn't just sit at the bottom. So I did that. This is what it looks like on the back. I love this paper. It's from the 6x8 paper pad and I really didn't know what to use it for and I was like, oh, this would look really, really nice on the back of a clipboard. So that's what I did. I made a clipboard, clipboard mail for her and um, this is a big bulldog clip and I have made, hold on, a very chunky charm for her. So this has a lot of charms and beads, wire wrapped beads and charms and bows and whatnot. This little bike charm here this is from it's i think it's done with that like shrink paper and this was gifted to me by cheryl she's made a few of them for me and i just love them it's very hard for me to part ways with them but i realize you know i can't just be hoarding stuff because it gets quite overwhelming <laughs> with all the stuff that we own as crafters um but yeah i l absolutely love 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 making these um chunky bead dangles and charm dangles and whatnot i love it so anyway that lives there and it i've got like a little um pink star lobster clasp to clip onto the clipboard and then on it i've just put this build a bow pack so um it's a bit like the build a bear but just, you know, build a bow. I think I saw um, Happy Mail Obsessed do something very similar to this. I've just like cut a, um, a tag from one of those gold foiled papers from the 6x8, put a little bit of um, flowery tool on the clip, and that's what holds everything together. And then in here, basically, I'll show you, there's a few bows that I made for her. So some more in like the blue and um, mint and yellow and stuff. And some more in the kind of like pink, white and purple. So those are the um, bows that I made for her. And then what I've done is I die cut some bits and bobs to make the bows. And then I'm also gifting her some of those pom-poms that I've used for the middle and some of the heart puffy stickers to go on top of the pom-poms so she can make her own bows. So that's basically what I've done here. Let me just put this back on. It's all held together by this tool bow. And then It is all very much held together like this. 
and then it just goes onto the clipboard. So that's what it looks like. That's one of the things that I, this is I think the first thing I made for her. I'm also gifting her this huge chunk of like, it's like grass trim. It's like a plasticky grass effect trim. I really like this and I've got another one as big as this. And um, yeah, I'm gifting her this whole chunky bit. Um, next up, I will actually, I'll show you these here. I'm just gifting her some of these. Um, oh, what did I do here? I've just realized that I've put all the stickers on the side, on the like B side of the stitching kind of thing. Hey ho, it's all right. Anyway, I've just wrapped some beads for her. So some of these yellow like volcanic beads and those gold ones. And I've just put some of the clear stickers on it and packaged it up in that kind of like sweet like wrapper packaging. And then these are some of those that like berry beads I think they're called and then on the side I've just put a few little um, beads and charms and whatnot so anyway that's that next up is this um, alphabet that I'm gifting her some alphabet stickers it's just this bit on the front there's nothing on the back but it's so so nice I love what it looks like when used on projects I've used I've, I bought like about three or four packs myself and it's really really lovely I'm also gifting her this three pack of scrunchies I thought they looked really nice with the marigold with the um sorry garden party collection and um I really like that I'm also gifting her this little macaron box I got this from AliExpress and this is my last one I really like how this matches the garden party collection and in here I'm just gifting her a few charms. So there's a bunch of little charms, there's some enamel charms, some gold charms, some chunky ones, some flat backs that I've made into charms, you know, there's a bunch of everything and those live there and that's how I decorated it. I am also gifting her. So this pack of sequins, I was gifted this bow bag topper by, I think it must have been Cheryl. It had a different charm on it and I've just kind of um, decorated it with the tool and some of the enamel dots. Um, but I just, I wanted to go for more green. So um, I changed the charm and put the little frog charm and some beads and whatnot and the green enamel dots. And then these are just some very lovely sequins in these little holographic colours. And then I also made her some of these little embellishments. So these are just, honestly, these are just from some scraps. And I just put them together, make little kind of like flag banners, kind of the other way around. Cluster them together, put a little decor on it. And I made a big one and a tiny small one. And I've reused some of the packaging. Um, I've also made her this little um, pouch here. And this holds um, some flowers that I've made. So I altered these flowers. These are some... Oops. These are some hobby lob some sorry hobby craft and this other like pound shop store from Spain. That's where I got the um, flowers from, and then I've altered the flower centers. I've used some of those AliExpress flower centers in the gold and in is that coming off? No, I think that's fine. And in the kind of like black vintage color, and then I used some diamond dots to do the centers so I made this little packaging for that okay <laughs> just about and then that was decorated like that and had that little clothespin on it 
And then I also made her some of these hats. I made these, sorry for the glare. It's all just packaged up now. But this is from the reused packaging from the layered stickers. And um, I really like how these turned out. Really, really like how these turned out. I just made a couple for her. So that's that. Um, what else? What else? I'm also sending her. I made her some little notebooks. So this is actually a notebook from a set of... There's a lot of glitter on here. From a set of three that I purchased, I think... I don't know. I don't know where. But like in one of those crafty shops or pound shops or whatnot and I decorated it with a little bunny and you know a little cluster and I just put notes on it and then I've also made actually made her two other notebooks this one and then this one and I've made those with um with some of the paper from the collection which is really nice so that's a little set of three notebooks that I'm sending her and I am also sending her these little packs of um, wax seal wax shapes, if that makes sense. So I just um, put some wax, like from, from wax sealing, like the actual wax. I put it into these moulds and make little shapes. So I've got this little milk chocolate bar shape and I think it looks really, really cute. So I've just put some charms on there. And some beads and these are going together held by that little clip with a fox with a little bow so yeah that's that i am also going to be sending her this little pouch i think this is lovely i really love the little they're, they're like a 3d gold polka dots and in here i'm just giving her a really really lovely like lilac -y Nouveau drop colour. This is called gloss. That's the colour, no? Oh no, French lilac. <laughs> Sorry, gloss is the finish. French lilac. Very, very lovely colour. I really like it. And uh, when I've been gifted Nouveau drops, I've just really, really appreciated it because I love using Nouveau drops. So that's that. The next thing I'm sending her is this album that I made. Um, I'm very into making albums at the moment, so you know i got kind of i don't i got kind of creative because i didn't really know how to like um i didn't know how to um gift an album for like a, a swap like this but i've managed to just use it to put some die cuts in it so this is what it looks like then this flips open and there's some of these rainbow die cuts all pieced together Oops. And that closes with a magnet. And then in here, I've gifted her some of those little, you know, scrap paper flag embellishments for her to embellish. And then I've just used one of these little clips and put some charms on there. Again, this closes with a um, magnet. And then there's this little journaling card here um then in here there's this little sorry i think i'm out of frame hold on this just lives in here so let me just put that back in so i can show you like this so anyway this is what it looks like so in here you can pull this out and there's a little space for a photo there In here, there's a little flip again, and then that closes with a magnet, and this flips up again. In here, there's some more of those flag embellishment cluster things for her to decorate. And in here, we've got another bit that um, flips open. And then in here, there's just another one of these, like photo mats or whatnot. And then in here, there's these little die cuts with the shine and grow and all of those, just tucked in there. Um, another clip. And then in here, 
how it's this oh this has come off from here <laughs> i'll have to restick that and then in here there's another little photo mat thing that lives in there with a magnet and then this flips open like that and in here we have another one of those photo mats And then in here, in this little, well, this flips open like this. And in this little pocket here, there's a few die cuts from the, um, from the collection, from that cut apart sheet, and then a photo space here. So yeah, that is it for this album that I am gifting her. I think I used a tutorial by Carolina's Crafts to make this. Um, I'll try and find it for you and I'll link it down below. I hope I'm not getting that wrong and I'm not giving credit to the wrong person. Um, but I think it is one from her. Um, what else? Oh, then I have this big humongous box. This was actually like a Ferrero Rocher box. <laughs> And um, I reused it. I made a little kind of like um, cover for it. And this is just what it looks like. And that's how I decorated it. This flower was gifted to me by gifted to me, sorry, by Chantal. It's absolutely stunning. And then this piece here, I reckon either by Chantal or Cheryl. I'm not really sure, but this was also gifted to me. I love it. I love that cluster of sequins, and I love how this has that like frosted effect i love it and then in it um i've got so many things i'm going to show you um i'll just take this off okay so in here let me just move this out of the way i have a few paper ruffles that i've just stitched for her so she can use this little clip there's just a bunch of them in there then I also made her some paper ruffles out of this kind of like glittery fabric. And I've got a couple with that gold leaf trim right through the middle. And then a couple more with the yellow trim through the, the middle. And then I'm gifting her three of these. Little um, tassels. So one's in white and pink, the other one's in the purple, and the last one is in the blue and mint. Sorry. They're not all exactly the same, but they look very much alike. And then I've just hung a few wire wrapped beads and a gold charm on all of them. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I just need to turn the fan on. And then that's the last one. Sorry if the fan's a bit loud, but I'm about to die in here. It's so hot. Um, I'm then sending her a couple of tools. This is the um, flowery tool, and this is some gold star, whoops, um, gold star mint tool. Then I am also gifting her these little glass pots. This has some flower sequins in it. This has some like minty kind of like plastic droplets in it. And then the last one is this one here. And this just has some pink hundreds of thousands or like sprinkles or whatever. And then I'm gifting her some of this star ribbon as well. A spool with that fabric ribbon and a spool with some pink tool this is all made into a ruffle and last but not least i'm gifting her this little box this little plastic box um i put some nouveau drops on that flower and i think it looks really nice it's like one of those it looks almost like some grapefruit or something very very lovely and i um, just did a little cluster there and in here, I am just gifting her a bunch of wire wrapping beads. I love wire wrapping beads. I love the result of wire wrapping beads, so it's definitely worth 
the time. So yeah, that sits in there. Let me just put all of this back together because there's a bunch of stuff in here. So yeah, it's quite stuffed in here. But um, yeah, I really wanted to gift her quite a few bits. And then that goes in there. Okay, and um, let me just show you the last thing that I'm sending her. Well, I'm sending her this and then a, a couple of chocolates or whatnot. But yeah, this is the last bit that I'm going to be sending her. So it's this little crate that I painted in pink. And this is how I decorated it. I really love how this turned out. I love the cluster here. Um, and then in here, I'm gifting her this little pack of purple seed beads and um, I've used a little pin in here that literally matches the garden party flower. I don't know if you can see it properly but this is something she can very easily reuse. Um, what else is in here? I'm sending her some of these word charms, sorry letter charms. I really like these and the colours match the collection really really nicely. I'm also gifting her some of these other word beads again sorry letter beads love the colors as well um, I'm gifting her some of these tiny little tassels I love doing these little back toppers I am sending her some of these colorful spacer beads oh that's a bit bent I'm sending her some of these star beads in the lilac. And last but not least, I am sending her, sorry, there's hairs everywhere. I'm sending her this little sequin mix in this tub. And it all goes in here. This fan is blowing everything around. This goes there, this goes there, this goes there, and this goes there. So yeah, and that's that. And that's basically everything I'm sending her. Um, I'm going to try and put it all in the same box as my Halloween group swap. Fingers crossed it all fits. To Zara, I just really hope that you like my mail. Thank you ever so much for swapping with me. It's always such a pleasure. To everybody that's watching, thank you so much for coming back to the channel and watching. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you get all of like the notifications about when I upload and whatnot. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.